Hello. This is meant to be a brute force or manual way to use Excel to create, um, I'm going to say just the raw materials for your word cloud. And when I say word, uh, raw materials, I mean um, font size for the most frequently used words. Um, and we're going to do that by using just a uh, blog post that I have here called Wildly Expensive Academic Waste. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this entire post and copy and say we want a blog or a word cloud that uh, pulls out the most frequently used words um, that are not and the or there, etc. cetera, uh, and create a word cloud for that. And we're gonna do that by dropping this entire list of words into Excel and yeah, we're going to unwrap it so that we see that we have three separate paragraphs that have three separate lines and the first thing I want to do is remove any punctuation from this so we're going to do that by finding and replacing punctuation with nothing so we're going to find all periods and replace it with nothing replace all we're going to do the same thing with commas and if you kind of know what you're dealing with this is going to be a lot easier otherwise you're just going to kind of have to go through the general most common punctuations I'm going to go ahead and get rid of hyphens with a space actually because I'm going to assume that's going to link two words together if I don't and let's say place all and let's do slash and this might not be all of them and again this might not be the most beautiful thing you've ever seen but this should work for most instances and now that we have each uh, word separated and all the punctuation for the most part gone we're gonna select the entire column go to data text to columns delimited next and we're gonna give every space a new cell so that each word gets its own cell hit next finish and now we want to take our data and put it in a column so take that entire row and transpose it same thing with the next row and finally the last row Well, I should have scrolled down. There we go. Transpose. Now that we have those all in a column, we can delete the rows of the words. And now, believe it or not, we're going to copy the row again, paste it over into a new column, and we're going to go to data, remove duplicates so that we only have one instance of every word we get rid of about half of the words and now we want to count the frequency of the words that we use hmm. my microphone must be pushing on some keys here I have to do it the long way lock those all in place and we want to count every time that word shows up and we want to do that for all the words for sake of filter speed I'm going to change it to a number format and we're gonna show the most frequently used words at the top now I'm going to go ahead and delete that column there we can go ahead and delete all these and I'm just gonna do this quickly but you can be more selective I'm just gonna eyeball real common words and get rid of them as they show up and you can be as selective as you want and like degree and degree shows up so if you wanted those to be combined you could do that manually but for this exercise I will not 
be that selective. Delete. Let's say we get rid of all the other threes except for those we have. Let's have an example of two, an example of one. And again, I did this very quickly for the example, but you'll likely probably need to get rid of all ones because I would say that those are not frequent enough to show up in a word cloud. So now we have numbers and to, or, or sorry, the frequency of the number of times the word showed up. I'm going to say we're going to create a word cloud where the largest or most frequently used word is in the 44 size font. Actually, let me space that out one more. And this is going to show us what percentage we need to multiply that font by. So 6 is the largest, so it's going to get 100% of that 44. Same here with the 6. 4 is only going to get 4 sixths of the 44 if that makes any sense. This is just one method. You can choose another criteria for the font size. And then we're going to multiply the percentage by the font size. And we can oops, get rid of all our decimal places to just show a more realistic number. So job would get 44 degrees would be 44 size font. Debt would be 29 size font. Or if you want to round up 30, years would be 22 size font all the way down to companies and then you would obviously depending on how uh, artistic you want to get you could change each of the font types also and then the directions of the text as well so again kind of a manual brute force way of creating a word cloud um, but this is the best way I've found if I'm dealing with a large set of content or words um, and I don't have software to create a uh, word cloud, so this is uh, my solution. So hopefully this helps you as well. Thanks a lot for watching.